Hello and welcome to Griffin Community College. My name is Noel Kelly. I'm the principal here of the college and I am supported by our deputy principal Adele Morrow and by our teachers and SNAs. So tonight we have a virtual tour of Griffin Community College and what you're going to see you're going to see the processes and procedures that the students would follow on a day-to-day -day basis to ensure that they get the best education possible here in our college. You will also see where our students store their bikes. You will get to see the first year area and where they will attend classes and you will also get to see the practical rooms and what practical subjects we are offering. I really like to welcome you all here this evening and I hope you really get to enjoy what you see. I look forward to working with you and your sons and daughters in late August, early September. But for now, enjoy the evening and thank you very much. Welcome to Griffin Community College. Today we are going to give you a very quick tour of our school. When students arrive to school by car, their parents can drop them off here in the lay-by at the front of the school. There is a pedestrian gate beside the lay-by where students walk onto the school grounds. Any students that walk to school or take the bus also need to come into the school by using this gate. When coming into school or leaving, we need to stay on the footpath. There are two buildings on the school grounds. The first building is the Kishog Main Building and the second one is the Griffin Community College Main Building. First year classes are in the Kishog Building. There is a disabled parking in front of the Griffin Building. If students need to use these parking spaces to be dropped off or collected, the school needs to be told in advance. Arriving late. If students arrive late to school, they need to ring the doorbell and when they come in, they sign the book at the reception. They need to ask someone to let them into the Cachot building. There will be an adult waiting at the doors of the school every morning. The main doors to the building can only be opened with a key fob. All school staff will have a key fob. To get to the first year rooms, we need to walk to the top of the stairs. If the stars are all closed, with the work she can get what? When we come through the door at the top of the stairs, the staff room is here on the left. Students can knock on the door if they need a member of staff, but they cannot enter this room. The girls' toilet is here on the left just after the staff room. And the boys' toilet is here, beside the girls' toilet. The caretaker's office is beside the toilets. Students cannot enter this room. This is the deputy principal's office. It is beside the caretaker's office. First year classrooms. All of the first year classes are on this corridor. There are four first year classrooms. Let's take a look inside one of the classrooms. Every classroom has a projector that can be connected to our iPads. When we have work that we want to share with the class, we can project it onto this board. We stay in these classrooms for all our course subjects. For example, maths, Irish and English. Sometimes we need to change rooms for the option subjects. We are then in mixed groups of students. We might have to go to the science labs or the woodwork rooms, which we will show you later. Or we might need to go to a different classroom. For example, for business studies. The last room on this corridor 
is the Learning Hub. We can go to the Learning Hub for small group learning. Driving in to use the disabled parking. If parents need to use the disabled parking, they may drive in through the gates of the staff car park entrance. Sometimes students are also crossing here, so be careful. Who's gonna tell you when it's too late? Parents will need to drive to the bottom of the car park on the left hand side. And then back up to the Griffin building alongside the carts. The disabled parking spaces are here, in front of the Griffin Building. The practical subjects. When doing the practical subjects, we need to use the science labs, the woodwork rooms and the art rooms. Students cannot enter these rooms without their teacher and they must make sure to follow all the safety rules when in these rooms. Students will need to use special equipment in these rooms and because of this, the rules are different to normal classroom rules. Leaving school in the evening. When we leave school in the evening, we use the same stairs that we used coming in that morning. It is important to stay on the footpath and to exit the school through the pedestrian gate. 